Hi, welcome to Feel Korean TV Math Corner. In this video, I will show to you how to multiply whole numbers and fractions. Let's take this problem to show the step-by-step -step process in multiplying fractions and whole number. Okay, so let's answer 5 eighths times 2. The first step that we are going to do is to change the whole number into improper fraction. We will use 1 as a denominator. Okay, let's do it. So let's write the multiplicand 5 eighths times. Okay, the whole number 2 will become 2 over 1. The whole number 2 is the numerator and we use 1 as a denominator. So, it is now an improper fraction. Next step, multiply the numerators and multiply also the denominators. Okay, let's multiply. 5 times 2 equals 10. And 8 times 1 equals 8. So, the answer is 10 eighths. It is an improper fraction. The numerator 10 is greater than the denominator 8. So, we need to simplify it by dividing the numerator by the denominator. Okay, let's divide 10 divided by 8. If we divide 10 divided by 8, the answer is 1. And the remainder is 2. So, the answer is 1 and 2 eighths. The quotient 1 is the whole number and the remainder 2 is the numerator. The divisor 8 is the denominator. Now, look at the fraction 2 eighths. We can still reduce this to lowest term because 2 and 8 can be divided by 2. So, we will divide them by 2. Okay, let's answer. Write the whole number 1 and then divide the numerator. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Divide the denominator 8 divided by 2 equals 4. The answer is 1 and 1 fourth. Okay, let's answer another problem. 24 times 3 fourths. Okay, so ang una pong gagawin natin ay gagawin natin improper fraction ang whole number. Ang gagamitin nating denominator ay 1. Kaya ang 24 ay magiging 24 over 1. Okay, then sulat natin ang multiplier na 3 fourths. Next step ay itmumultiply natin yung dalawang numerators at imumultiply din natin yung denominators. Pero, pwede natin gamitin yung cancellation method bago tayo magmultiply para mapababa natin yung number. Okay, tingnan natin yung numerator ng multiplicand at denominator ng multiplier. Ang 24 at 4 ay mayroong common factors. Kaya, i-divide natin sila sa kanilang GCF. Ang GCF ng 24 at 4 ay 4. Okay, i-divide na natin. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. And 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Yung 1 at 3 ay wala namang ibang common factor maliban sa 1, kaya hindi na natin sila i-divide. Kaya ang next step na gagawin natin ay i-multiply na natin yung numerators at saka i-multiply din yung denominators. Okay, so let's answer 6 times 3 equals 18. And 1 times 1 equals 1. Okay, the answer is 18 over 1. Improper fraction ito, kaya kailangan natin isimplify. I-divide natin yung numerator na 18 sa denominator na 1. 18 divided by 1, the answer is 18. So, the final answer is 18. That's all for this topic. I hope you learned from it. See you next time. God bless.